Crow here. Welcome back to my Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. On today's episode, it's already over. We didn't take on the Water Type Gym. And we'll take on the Water Type Gym in the next episode. So until next time, remember to stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next video. No, I'm kidding. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh. Oh, hey, it's, uh, the Elite Four dude. The guy who, the guy who I initially voiced as Snape. Is Professor Snape, but now it's like a higher pitched version of it, I think, but it's kind of like Arvin. Well, now, Cryo, you appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. Who are you? Uh, good, another voice. Um, let me explore my range. Who are you? What's this now? Nope, nope, that's not it. What's this? No way, 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 way. What's this now? Is this the kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. Oh, uh. They, uh, boy. So, I, I'm not good at remembering voices. <laughs> Um, well, unless they're voice impersonations, but like original voices, well, quote unquote original, like it, they drive from other voices sometimes, but. Then this young lady would be Raika. That's me, Raika, here at your service. Hey, I, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She is a little. Far. 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 What? Far. Archical? Far Sissel? Well, that's going on my list of fun words. Hold on, let me mark that down real quick. I have no idea what that means. Let me look up... Actually, I'll just Google it. What does farcical mean? Or, oh, it's pronounced farcical. Yeah, that makes more sense. So, like, I know what a farce is. Or no, maybe I don't know what a farce is. Uh, farcical... or farcical. <laughs> yeah, right, farcical. Relating to or resembling farce, especially because of absurd or ridis ridiculous aspects. Okay, you could have just said she's a little ridiculous instead of sounding so proper. I guess that's kind of your style. Would like my er, no, that's not it. That's, that was Clavel's voice. Much like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm, let me tell you something, kiddo. You look fun, like interesting in a glance. Anyway, yeah, I like your style. Be smooth. Girls in suits, you don't need to always wear dresses, you know? Girls in suits look great too. Everybody in a suit looks great. I will stand by that saying, everybody in a suit looks great. Like, e even like a, even your pets. Put a cat in a suit, put a dog in a suit. They, they'll look handsome, they'll look stunning. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Here kind of reminds me of uh, the one bird Pokemon. I forget what their name is. Squawkabilly, is that it? They have, like, the pompadour-type hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. With the battles you'll face, these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't lose my Nuzlocke right now. <laughs> but not you, right, kiddo? Don't, don't call me- I mean, I guess- you know, I guess you can call me kiddo, because I'm a kid in this game. See, when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gems that you got. Yeah, I don't have- I'm not good at diverse voices, as you can clearly tell. Best of fortunes to you. Occasionally I'll have, like, the, the voice that sounds pretty good. Just very occasionally. Alright, here we go. Um, maybe I'll start with Bull Fierce just to get some neutral damage off, and I'll save Storm Coastal for important stuff. Right, I heard you would reunite, reunite Kofu with his wallet! Can't thank you enough, though this is a little irregular. Consider the gym test passed. Uh, gym leader Kofu the surging chef. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let me show you to the battle court. 
No, we're just battling in town. I guess that's what we did for the last room too with I Iona. Yeah. Oh man, come, Kofu, come play with us. Come on. Uh, but he's real popular around town, I guess. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick, like. I'm keeping someone waiting. You see, please forgive me. I need to do this first. Okay. Yeah, all right. Here we go. All right, Kofu. See what you're made out of. Besides a, a delightful hair choice. He has, he, it's like he has two eyebrows. He has like a mustache. No, he has like a beard. No mustache, but like creases that look like a mustache. A unibrow, which is like a mustache. And then what's left of his hair, which is another mustache or a unibrow or both. Thank you for the help, over and Porto Merinda. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. Don't expect me to go easy on you in our brattle here. Oh, I forgot the first B. But There we go. Alright, no, I wouldn't have it any other way, Kofu. At the auction, we brattle with... 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 Why can't I do it anymore? With buying and selling, at my gym we brattle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the raging sea. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Oh, you tempt me, sir. I might try to eat your Pokemon. Depends what they are though. Alright, challenge me, gym leader Kofu. Oh, Veluza. Oh, that's why he said Vault and Veluza. So I know what typing this Pokemon is. Um, I never encountered one in the wild yet, but I feel indebted to you. So this thing is water and psychic type. Oh, it's water and psychic type, right. Um, if I hadn't known that, I would have lost my bull fierce. Um, maybe I go... Into Nutritail just to tank some hits, because Nutritail is pretty bulky. Well, at the very least, it can't hit me super effectively. Worst I could do is neutral. And I'm pretty sure its move set includes um, moves that all have a high critical hit ratio, which is just lovely for a Nuzlocke, you know. And I'm almost positive its ability. It further increases said critical hit ratio, question mark, maybe? Um... Well, let me look this up. Lulooza. Oh, no, maybe not. No, there is just Volt... Right, Volt Breaker, I saw that. Okay, so hopefully that... Growlster sh should help. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm... Ever gonna get another water type on my team at all? Like, um. Because, like, like I said, all the routes are huge, which includes the water. So, like, unless I specifically go to the water for my first encounter, like if I'm in desperate need of water type, then I'm probably not gonna get, like, a Belooza or anything, any of their water types. There is one water type that I wouldn't mind having. That I might even forgo like an, an ice type for. Just because it looks really cool and it, it it has pretty good stats from what I can tell. I don't even know where to catch it though. That that might be an issue. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I'm just playing the very slow, elongated waiting game. And why haven't any of the gym leaders used potions? Maybe they're more stingy with their potions. Oh, the crowd goes not particularly wild, but... Yeah, okay, Wug Trio. Yep, so this is Doug Trio, but water. I mean, I could... Yeah, let me just stay out. I'm not sure what its ability is. Uh, 
I'm gonna hit it with a bounce. Hopefully. I mean, it's not 100% accurate. And then, also hopefully, I can paralyze it. Did you just try to headbutt me, the trainer? A nice it landed. Paralysis, question mark? Okay, right, gooey. So upon making physical contact, my speed is lowered. Ouch, critical hit. Okay. Of course, a critical hit and a flinch. Aren't you lucky? Ooh, that didn't really uh, recover enough. Oh no, it's just any move. I didn't even... Unless training kiss counts as a physical contact. I always just thought like the physical contact part was like... Um, only physical moves, not special attacking moves. I guess draining kiss, like, it's a special move, but the kissing is something I suppose makes contact. Okay, so that was my first healing item. Like, I could switch to... Um... I can't think of his name, Storm Coastal. Uh, Storm Coastal isn't exactly the bulkiest thing, so I'm kind of saving it for the last Pokemon, just to d dish out as much damage as possible. Alright, please be enough to take it out. Yes, okay, Wug Trio finally goes down. Okay, dokie, here we go. Now, what Pokemon- or no, do you have four Pokemon or three? You shall soon find out. Okay, yep, it's three. Abominable, right. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be rough. So, Kerbomable. I love I love Kerbomable, by the way. But you're, you weren't able to use them in Pokemon Sun and Moon until literally at the doorstep of the Elite Four. That's the only place you could evolve. Uh, Kerbrawler, who is a pure fighting type, into Kerbomable, who is a fighting and ice type Pokemon based off of a Yeti Crab. I love his design, I love him so much. I just never really got to use him. Now, Kerbominable. Well, luckily in this generation, they made it so you can use an Ice Stone instead to, to evolve him, so that's nice. Anyways. Okay, so he's gonna have Fighting and Ice-type moves. Those Ice-type moves are gonna be scary for my bird. I could probably take one, t one hit. It's gonna be Water-type Terrestrialized. Um... So I'm just really gonna hope this Storm Coastal can take one ice type attack from Probomitable. If it, if I do manage to take one, it's gonna really hurt. <laughs> like it probably has like Ice Hammer. Is that one of the, is that a move? Or at the very least, Ice Punch. Ooh boy. Hey, Probomitable. All right, please, please, please. I should definitely outspeed it, but I don't think I'm gonna one-shot it. One can hope. All right, come on, Storm Coastal. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon is gonna rock the boat. All right, don't laugh, don't laugh. Alright, come on, Kofu. Bring it on. Bring on your Yeti Crab. I'm ready. Oh, we almost one-shot it. Okay. Now it's this double down to this. If I can if I can live this hit. The Kofu special, huh? Crab hammer, oh it's water type. Okay. This gonna hurt still. Oh my goodness! Luckily, we outspeed it. So, okay, good. If that had been a critical hit, I would have, I would have lost a Pokemon. But no, luckily, to this or at this point, I've only lost two Pokemon, one to each Team Star member. So, that's good, I guess? I think that's good. Walton the loser, you're a lively one, aren't you? 
A little too lively, if I do say so myself. I ignore my voice going all over the place. I'm going between southern and... I don't know. It's a different voice. <laughs> Lots as refreshing as the air of the morning market. I'm just like a little help... Or I'm like a helpless little magic to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. Got me good, I tell you what a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher. He held on tight to the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. Let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Oh, alright. Oh, that's, that's funny. Nice perspective photo. It's like he's a, a fish or something that I caught, I don't know. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 40 will be easier to catch and I'll listen to you. Er, oh, and they'll listen to you uh, when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. That's a new one. Oh, I, I skipped over what it said. Whoops. Uh, Alrighty, it's about time I headed on back to my restaurant and got to prepping for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Yeah, it probably won't. <laughs> Just being honest. I wasn't expecting to get that done within like 20-ish minutes, so... Um... Oh, hi, Nimona. Oh, hi, Cryo. Hola. It's been a real long time since I've seen ya. Kai, you just as it finished up here, huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. You, you and fruit. What's up with you and fruit? Makes me want to, makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. Please, by all means, I'm, I'm all game. Oh, but I'm gonna have to wait. Wait a second. Okay, another theory. Uh, well, I don't even know if it's that good of a theory. <laughs> Just because of the single strand of, like, the blade of grass or green hair. I already forgot the Elite Four member's name. The one with, like, the... The girl wearing the suit. Uh, what's her face? I forgot the other dudes. The high-pitched Snape voice guy. I forgot his name, too. Um, I've only seen him, like, twice. I've seen the girl once and the guy, like, twice. So, yeah, I clearly I don't remember their names. Um, but I think she is the... Okay, so she could either be the daughter of the La Primera. I kind of forget her name. Oh, wasn't it like Gita? Yeah, Gita. Or she's the daughter of the other Leaf Four member, the one with the green hair. Or she's just not related to any of them, and I'm just just making things up based on slight appearance similarities. When I battle you, I want to do it in the best possible conditions, which means this time, I gotta ask for a rain check. <laughs> this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Cryo. Forgive me, forgive me! Alright, I suppose I can forgive you this one time, Nimona. Alright, so where we're heading next is... Team Star's Poison Base. And that is a level 35. I need to do some level or yeah, some leveling up. Uh, especially for Terrellifant. Terrellifant's gonna come in really handy for poison types. Oh yeah, because it's gonna be steel and poison type, right? The river room is. And this time I have the Pokemon that it can, can, can actually take a hit. Cough, cough, a Doug Trio. Cough, cough. Uh, well, assuming it as a physical move. Hey, what is this? Cyclozar. What kind of shop is this? It's Seguro style. This is like sporting goods or something? Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look. Ooh, I could yeah, I, some, I could use some fingerless gloves, that'd look cool. How the blue ones look? Oh, those look kinda nice actually, yeah. And five hundred dollars, what a bargain. Yeah. Of course I'll take those, yeah. And a helmet. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure low kicks is 
Isn't that the evolution of Nimble? He evolves at level 24. But we haven't seen him evolve yet. Okay, blue one looks pretty cool. How about navy, though? I like different shades of blue. Ooh, ooh I do kind of like that one, yeah. You just have... Okay, what are you... Oh, I, I don't want to look like an astronaut. They also have cool helmets. They just, they just look like a member of Daft Punk. Or <laughs> Daft Punk. A retro jet helmet. Oh, okay, alright. As if I want to look like a 90s cop. This is just like a dirt bike thing. God, I mean, I really like the, um... A rainbow helmet, huh? Cycling helmet, what does that look like? Oh, yeah. I don't want to look like a, a 30-year-old man in a business suit on a bicycle who just got lunch and on a lunch break or something. <laughs> Alright, um... Honestly, the Navy Logix helmet looks real cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. Now I just need to, um... I need to focus. I need to get some pants, some new shoes, maybe. Yeah, honestly, I could just spend the rest of the episode kind of shopping around. I go. I can go to routes that I have I've already been on, so I'm not any new material. So you guys don't miss anything, like, new or whatever. Um, get my Pokemon to level 35. I just, I'm not sure where... ...all the shops are. Okay, I can check out Bagans to get a new backpack. Like, I got quite a... ...a flush amount of cash to work with. Yeah, that is way quicker than the elevator. Maybe, probably. Uh... Is this Bacon's? That looks like a coffee shop. Maybe it is Bacon's, I don't know. Nope, I don't need picnic stuff. Don't mind me, I'm just crouching around. Uh, just here, don't need glasses. Oh, here it is. Yeah, let's pick ourselves up a new bag. I mean, honestly, Navy is kind of my jam right now, yeah. Alright, so they, if they just have nylon, or do they have other types of... Oh yeah, no, it's just nylon. What was the Terra Whale? What? What is Terra Whale? Oh, okay, that's like a... It's a Titan. So Titan's the whale Pokemon. That's been officially revealed, so it's not a spoiler. Alright, yeah, and I'll have to go with the, uh, navy one. It kind of completes the whole ensemble. Looks like I'm ready to, like, jump out of a, a plane as a super superhero or something. Okay, great, so, need, like, a new shirt, maybe. Definitely need pants, um, and different shoes, because... Yeah, I, you know, it doesn't... I can't have only half the outfit, you know? Gotta get everything. I also need to know where to look. Why did it go into the boogie box? Okay, spec shack. Um, Veracidad? I don't know what that is. Uh, socks and rough and tough. And then footwear. Okay, so I'll visit those three then after this. Ah, uh, we gotta head on up. Going on up, moving on up. I don't know that song well enough to sing it or do it justice. Alright, so now I'll just head over... Oh, I guess over here. Yeah, don't, don't mind me, ma'am. I'm just, uh... I'll, I'll be on my way, moving along. Oh, it's a dolphin. Hello. 
You know what? I'm not gonna question how dolphins on land. Why should I? It's Pokemon. Hi, this... That doesn't look like a sock store. So if I were to guess, it's probably around the corner somewhere, yeah? Yeah, it is. And there's a sand... A sand storms out. Like tights and socks? You'll love what we got in stock. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. We got an awful lot of... Oh, here we go. Okay. This is what I'm interested in. It could be just like Nimona. Okay, so we could go the, bl the plain black route. How do these look? That's a little bit too bright against my costume. But navy? How about that? Navy with navy, right? You know what? That could work. Navy could work. Um... Yeah, and a thousand. Quite the bargain. Absolutely, yes. I will wear that with pride. And, um... Uh... Oh, but yeah, but that would, that would take away my tights. I don't want that. Yes, that would be all for me. Okay, there we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now... I need... Uh, new shoes, right. Keep on opening up that menu, that's the wrong one. It's Apaldia Footwear, here we are. Oh, it's down yet another story. Well, I'll check out the Deli Brew presents, I don't know what they have in stock here. Ooh, a magnet? I might... Yeah, I'm gonna use that for... A, uh, Storm... What's her name? Hang on. Storm Girl still. I keep on forgetting the second part. Ooh, leftovers. Yeah, I'll take some leftovers, yeah. Okay, great. That should be all I need from here. Unless you have any cool different phone cases. Ah, okay. So an ice case could look pretty cool. Yeah, let me get an ice case for the Rotom phone, sure. Alright, and... General goods, what we got? Alright, okay, so we can... I should make sure which one... We can evolve our Applin. Do... Okay, you sweet apple. Right. Sold. Pokeballs. Eh. Meh. We're not exactly in short supply of Pokeballs right now. Okay. And then. Okay, Magnet is going to you. And I guess we can give leftovers to. Uh, neutral tail for now. And let's get Pie Guy evolved just on the off chance we ever want to use him. And so I don't forget that I can evolve him. Alright, here we go. Time for this apple to become a pie. Yeah, disregard the the apple glowing behind you, fellow customers. There he is. Look at you. I guy evolved into Appleton. Appleton, the apple nectar Pokemon. When some Lachonk come along to lick the sweet nectar on Appleton's back, Appleton will spew sticky nectar at them to drive them away. Oh, um, yeah, travel travel spoon. Baby, don't be on the same team as this guy. But sure, I mean, he doesn't have a good move set. <laughs> he doesn't have any grass type or dragon type moves right now. Maybe he can. He has previous moves now that I can now have him remember. Okay, Leech Seed is like the only thing that. At least semi decent. Ah, uh, then Shoes, right, so. Yeah, baby! Wee! 
This looks like the place. Welcome to Zapeldia Footwear. Feel free to browse our wares. Engineer boots, huh? I know, that's a little bit too bulky for me. Uh, dress shoes, huh? Yeah. I don't think sandals would go with my outfit either. Well, actually, it doesn't look half bad. Flip flops are probably. I don't know, I kind of dig it. Uh, I'm just gonna say that about every type of shoe. Alright, for now, we're just gonna get some flip flops, I guess. Um, actually, I'm not even sure if we can change our shirt. Alright, tell you what, in between episodes, um, yeah, so I need to get my Pokemon up to level 35. And then I need to complete my outfit, because I mean, it doesn't look terrible with his school uniform or whatever. But I want to see if it's possible to change around my, my shorts and my shirt. So, until next time, remember to stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next video.